It's possible to have more than one external drive using Time Machine to back up a Mac. Over on my MacBook Air, we have the 500GB backup that we set up a couple lessons ago. I've also attached a blank external drive that is named Offsite TM Backup. Offsite Backup is an important failsafe to have because it can protect you in case both your Mac and the connected Time Machine drive go down at once, or are possibly lost or stolen together. So I'll click Select Disk here in Time Machine Preferences and follow the same procedures to begin the Time Machine backup to the off-site drive. Make sure to click Use Both here rather than Replace. How this would then work is I will keep the 500 gigabyte backup drive connected to this Mac all the time, performing incremental backups every hour. For the off-site drive, I'd keep it at home or in another separate physical location from the Mac. Then on a regular basis, maybe once a week or every month, I'd bring the off-site drive to the Mac and connect it. Time Machine will recognize the drive and perform a backup. You'll be able to see the progress of the backups under the Time Machine menu bar item or in Time Machine Preferences. Once that backup is complete, then return the drive to its off-site location. So that's how to back up one Mac to multiple drives with Time Machine. But we can also back up multiple Macs to a single drive. So I'm now going to connect the off-site drive to my MacBook Pro. In Time Machine Preferences, I can then add the off-site drive as a Time Machine backup for this Mac as well. Make sure to click Use Both here rather than Replace. Once this backup starts, we'll then see a folder for both the MacBook Air and for this MacBook Pro on this drive. The Time Machine backup will occur automatically whenever it's connected to either of these Macs. 